Hello everyone, White Mage Serenia here, welcome you back to Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. I'm sorry this episode's going up so late tonight, guys. It's been a bit of a mess. Um, okay, to tell you a bit, I started to record this episode over four hours ago, and I found out that, well, as you can see, I'm walking despite the fact that I'm actually holding in the analog stick, which is supposed to make, make Dart run. And as you can see, if I hold, hold it down or left, he walks for some random reason. It's as if the emulator's not picking up that I'm actually pressing it, so that it's like the sensitivity's messed up. And what gets me about that is I've tested it on other aspects of my computer. Like, I tested it on the N64 emulator, and I tested it on the, um, a few other things, and it's not my controller at all. The sensitivity's fine. It's just my emulator doesn't seem to like it anymore. I don't know why. So I don't know how to fix it. I must have spent an hour trying to fix it, looking for, like, different plugins or whatever else I would have needed, and couldn't find anything. So then I decided to just give up, because... It's not that big of a deal. If anything, it's just minor inconvenience. So I decided to give up on that. And then found out that somehow my memory card has gone missing or deleted all the data. So I figured I must have accidentally deleted it. Because it was like, oh, there's no save file. So I couldn't load anything and I didn't have a save file anywhere near where I last was. Where I've been having to save act use actual memory card saves with Dragoon instead of save states. So... I thought I accidentally deleted my memory card, so I must have spent the last two hours trying to recover that. And then I, I, I knew I had a backup memory card um, from when I formatted my computer, but I didn't know how recent it was. So I was afraid that I was going to have to get some, ba you know, get things backed up. So I was just spending a lot of time trying to recover the other memory card to no avail. I couldn't recover it. I well, I managed to recover it, but it was it was wiped clean. So, I don't know what happened there, but anyway, I've got my files back, everything's up and running, and it's currently 4 p.m. right now, which means the Wild Arms episode should have gone live by now. I hope so, anyway, because you, YouTube changed its scheduling thing, where you actually have to type in the date instead of selecting from a calendar, so I'm hoping that it, it went ahead and went live. What a cold place. It pierces through my aged bones. That's not how Hashel sounds. <laughs> Uh -huh. But yeah, so it, it was just a mess, and I, ugh, I almost didn't record this today, because, like, I don't know. <laughs> Maru slips on her butt. <laughs> so, man, I, I like Maru. I like her a lot. I, I you know, I just do. <laughs> Maru! <laughs> Oh, it's not her birth mother. Okay, I see how it goes. Oh, I'm sorry that she abandoned you. I can has hugs. I hug you. I didn't even see that part because I accidentally skipped it. Oh, huh, Naika. Her Majesty Teresa cherished me when I was alone, as if I were her real daughter. Since then, I've never felt loneliness again. That's exactly right, Miranda, because you've got Dart and company. Mm-hmm. As if, and you can talk to them as if you've known them for like years, even though you've only known them for, like, a couple of months, I guess, technically. Thunderbolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! Uh. Oh. I think I go this way? Ah, there we go. I, I, I really don't like the Kashua Glacier that much, just so we're clear. Big giant mammoth of mammoth proportions! do ka do ka do do ka do ka do do Yes! So, um, I, I was reading a couple of comments this morning on Legend of Dragoon by someone named J Zach something, I forget his last name, but I know his username was similar to mine, uh, well, my real life name that is, and he mentioned that in certain reviews of this game, people were complaining about the addition system, saying that it was a bit too specific on the timing, I, I'm, I'm not entirely sure why. You know, it, 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 it apparently was also when the whole Nintendo age, you know, like the Nintendo hard age and whiny gamers and whatnot started as well. And I would actually kind of have to agree. I think gamers in general nowadays seem to think that, well, I'm talking about general gamers, not all gamers, so please keep that in mind. It does seem that a lot of, you know, casual gamers seem to feel that, seem to, seem to think that they're entitled to all these, like, freaking, um, tree, you know, treats and stuff, like... They, they seem to think that if the game isn't exactly how they want it, then it automatically sucks and they're going to complain. Now, I also know that people are going to complain about anything and everything. But, back to the point, though. 
it seems like it was a pretty common complaint with the, t uh, the addition system having extremely specific timing. Now, maybe I'm just lucky or something like that. I don't know. I, I can't speak for the general populace here. But when it came to the addition system, I'll admit, yeah, it threw me off a little bit because I wasn't used to the system. So I had a little tiny bit of trouble at first. And, like, additions like Gust of Wind Dance, for example, were near impossible for me. But once I learned the timings, it became nothing. As, you see, as, you, as you've seen me do a majority of this Let's Play, I almost never mess up on any of the additions. So for that to be a common complaint for the game, it just seems a bit, a bit strange to me. You know, I mean, if, if any of you guys had trouble with them, I'd love to hear it. You know, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that, but I just, like I said, I just thought it was really strange. As I was saying, the additions, like the standard additions, they've almost, they've practically never given me that much trouble aside from when I first started playing the game and wasn't exactly familiar with them just yet. But I caught on pretty quick. Now, Dragoon additions, on the other hand, those still give me a little bit of trouble, so I can maybe cave on those for a bit. The regular additions, though, uh uh. Maybe at first, but the timings are pretty easy to, you know, pretty simple to, um. Get the hang up. And plus, you, you get an indicator, so it's pretty much simple to know when to press the button. I've seen games um, where the timing isn't exactly obvious until you figure it out. Hell, Mario RPG is actually a good example of that. While it's not the hardest thing to time on the planet because the window is so big, that's the kind of thing I'm talking about, though, because there are games with without indicators to let you know when to press the button, so you just kind of have to feel your way through it. Here, it's just about observation and timing. You just look when the box about... To you know, you just keep keep an eye on your screen, and when the box is about to hit the thing, the square, you just hit it. I mean, I can't. It, it's not. It can't get any easier than that. It really is, though. Like I said, an observational skill. I can't believe I've been talking about that as long as I have. It's just it confused me. I guess is is what I'm ultimately trying to get to. Because it, it really did. I mean, now that right there, I can actually let cave because those counter strikes like that can really throw off your timing. And Maru's cool boogie is one of the worst to get countered, especially if it's right before that last uh, that last hit, because you almost have to hit the button immediately after the counter option is gone. Oh god! Like watch, 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 watch! Wham! You have to be pretty much picture perfect with that one, but you know, without worrying, you know, without the counter slot, without the counter thing, if it doesn't get countered, it's not that bad. Although to be fair, Maru's additions and um. Alberts are probably the most confusing to do, so I don't know. I, I've, I've just never really had a huge problem with the, the arts, I guess. Good yeah. lord, you're like the counter master. Yeah. Well, take that! Summon four gods. These things are actually kind of bulky, aren't they? Run away! There we go. Yeah. Too bad we won't get any XP for the other one, which is kind of crap, but oh well. What can you do? Alright, let's go grab whatever is in this. Meteor Fall. Um, I also want to get a random battle. Because, you know, we're awesome like that. Alright, we're back, guys. Alright, let's grab this little thing here. Heavy mace! Let's hope that's better than what Maru currently has. It's it, is it? It is. For Dart, though, technically, since we're in a ice area, it might be better for us to equip this. 
so I I will. But, but you know, we're gonna hang on to the mind crush, of course. And I forgot to check something else. Okay. Alright, he just needs to use that 36 more times? No, 26 more times. And she needs to use Cool Boogie a hell of a lot more. 43 more times, actually. No, 53, actually. Now what is this? Right, to the Tower of Flanville. Up, to the snowfields. Warning, slide. Okay. Tower of Flanville is where we need to go, actually, so... Let's talk to these merchant guys. Huh? Hey, this, this area actually kind of reminds me of that one uh, part where you meet Owaka in Final Fantasy X in Mount Gagazet. I sell up him, and I sell items! Must be feet, f uh, fate meeting you here. Although, to tell you the truth, I don't know why we would meet peddlers standing here in this exact same spot, just waiting up for us. You know, it's like, why not have them meet us here for now, because we think we could be crossing their path. And then, later on, meet them back in town and say, Oh, hey, we know you. But no, they never leave. They just stay here for the rest of the friggin' game, to my knowledge. And it's like, wh why Why would you do this? Why? Why would you do this? Okay, for losing that much magic defense just to gain six more extra defense, I can't say that's worth it. Now, for this, I would actually say that, yes, it would be worth it. Yeah. Well, I just probably bought another one, didn't I? Oh well. Primero and Tricero are around here somewhere. I don't know where they are, or even who they are. And why should I care? And yeah, I, I apparently I... What? So confused. Anyway, we now have a Saint Armor. Alright. For now, that's all we needed. Well... Yes, I know that Primero and Tricero are there somewhere. Let's see if they have any items that we care about. Ooh, they have healing breezes. That could actually come in handy. Oh. Sell items. Mm. Nothing that I really... Well... I won't hang on to all that. Alright, let's get a move on. And check this. Can't carry any more items. Good to know. Good to know. Alright, so I'm gonna discard... Hmm. Yeah, that. Because we have body purifiers, we don't need the ones that specifically... Oh, gushing magma. Alright, fine. Oh, I can dig it! I can dig it real good! Oh boy. The part where you got to climb down the icicles. I don't like it, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Penguin soldier! No! Actually, you're more like Nightmare Penguin, I think. Freeze Knights. Oh yeah! Ha ha! Ha ha! Cold as ice! I mean, whoa! Hey, whoa! I, I want an Extendo... I want an Extendo Lance. I also want to be able to take that without any wounds at all. And just shrug it off. You would think that Maru could kill these gym knights in one hit. Or I freeze knights. She's got a freaking giant mallet. They're gonna smash it, I think. <laughs> I like how they skate. Alright, come here, you. This should do a lot of damage. Oh yeah. The fire the heat blade's really good for this area then. Ooh. But just remember to de-equip it later on. Because I don't really like equipping elemental weapons unless I know they're going to be useful in the area. And clearly, clearly they're going to be useful here. 
I hate it when they counter that spot right there, because as you see, the timing can be really hard to time. That's like the only one that gives me... Ah. See, even though I'm okay, or even though I'm pretty good at him, I can't really hit him all the time. I'm only human. Of course I'm gonna mess up. But the timing is... They really don't feel that specific to me. Unless I've just gotten my brain so trained to it after playing this for so long. I don't know. It's weird, but all I can say is it just takes a little bit of practice. And I just discard those, because I don't care. I just don't. You can't make me care. Okay, there's a treasure chest. Yeah. You actually have to do this at least twice if you want both treasure chests, I think. Cannot carry more items. Really? Get rid of the other depetrifier. Dancing Ray. Ooh, that's actually pretty good, I think. Oh, I, okay. Yeah, that's right. You can climb back up the ice icicles. That's right. I was thinking of another game. Okay. So we just... Although I don't know how one would climb an icicle, especially not when carrying a lot of armor and without proper tools, but who am I to question RPG logic anymore? Phoenix Plume. That's an equipment, obviously. Now let's go see what it does. And see who all can equip the damn thing. Avoids bewitching, fear, and dispiriting. Nice. It's probably not going to be better than the dragon tiara for her. Yeah, not even close. What about you? Oh! Huh. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's a worthy sacrifice for Hatchel there. Alright. Plus, we're gonna actually want a lot more magic defense for the fight we're gonna come up on. Or the fight that we're coming up on, that is. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Now saving, do not remove memory card. Alright, now let's move on ahead. Huh? What was that? Oh, treasure chest. Want that. Oh, it's... Of course. They always... Derg. I hate it when I have too many items. Wish I could get that one bag that I hear is in the Japanese version that doubles how many items you can carry. That would be totally nice. Ah, get rid of the poison needle. Fatal Blizzard. Oh, random battle. Those are always lovely. Loverly. Loverly, loverly. Oh, a nice spider. I hate spiders, you know. Stupid fast penguin guy, man, thing. Hate him. Freaking hate him. Hey, thanks for increasing my SP. Pop. 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 Aww. They always manage to count on third hit. I hate it. I hate it, man. Someone... Tell him not to do that, because you're just mean. Punch. I mean, kick. <laughs> Icicle ball. Well, now melt. Haha. <laughs> oh, yeah. Bye bye. And you're gonna run away like a coward. Bye bye. See you later. There we go. <laughs> Summon four gods. Oh yeah. Aw, oh, don't run away. Come back, Mr. Penguin. I wanted to hug you and love you and call you George and stuff. Come back here, little penguin. I have snacks. Little penguin, come back. 
Oh. Um. What? Congo feels monster angry about we entered here. I cannot imagine what they are thinking to live in such a cold place. Monster, don't know coldness. Monster only knows to kill. It wants to kill us? Thank you, but no thank you. Here it comes! Yes, that's right. It has a Bosch fight. And I think it's actually kind of a hard one. <laughs> if I recall correctly, it's not friendly. I know that much. Oh, yes. Wendigo. We need to attack it so we can hit its heart. And, yeah. I think he hits pretty hard, too. Oh, God. Oof! Yeah, yeah, about that. And as you can see, we only have one target, which is just him for the moment. But I also think he's incredibly weak to fire, I hope. Yes, it seems to be that way. Which is good thing. Now, Hashel, go for the gold, my friend. Summon four gods! Yeah! Wish I could summon four gods, then maybe I could stop Dalamut from falling. Or wait, it already fell. Yeah. It ended in there, didn't it? <laughs> but but at least at least if I could summon four gods, then then we could save Termina. Ow! This guy loves to pick on Maru, doesn't he? So far she's the only one that this thing's hit. I must have a thing for Winglies. I don't know. Four yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, 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 hey! Who said you could attack again? You're not that fast. Ah! Well, at least it wasn't Maru this time. Splatter. Ugh. Oh, I'm a crafty man. I can handspring. <laughs> All right, Maru, do your freaking cute stuff. Yeah. Cool boogie. Hey, do you counterattack or something? Is that maybe it? Because surely you're not fast enough to be able to outspeed me. Because if you are, you need a chill pill. Actually, in this case, a heat pill. Still not down yet, is he? Not even close, eh? But then again, it is a boss fight, so I expect it to have a lot of health. And you're gonna smack Hashel around. Uh oh. Yeah. That's what you don't want to see. Everybody, watch out! It might hit us. Ah! Um. Something tells me we want to get rid of those uh, snow cannons. Also, I don't know if attacking the uh, main guy helps there or not, but as you can see, he has freaking Hashel trapped in his chest prison thing. So that's gonna be fun. Uh, okay. Snow cannon down. I have Maru heal herself a little bit. Jeez! That must be because Dart's fire attributed. It's not the only thing I can think of. But he, you know, he takes damage like a boss anyway, so it's fine. I don't mind it, man. I really don't. Because, you know, it's like stuff and things and things and stuff and stuff of the round of Mender Bow. And my chair just broke. Not really. One moment. There we go. Alright, see, now that his heart's a... Now, his heart is actually where his actual health is. So we want to go for that. But I think as soon as you hit it, it closes back up. And it only has like 5 health or something like that. You see, you can only hit it once per turn. So, you gotta wait for him to get it back open again. So, this boss can actually be rather long. So it's also great for uh, ability farming. Or not ability, but, you know, addition. There we go, addition farming. I mean, you'd, you'd also think that Maru would be freezing her butt off right here. But she seems to be just fine, just not even, not, not even an inkling of cold.
You missed. Although, I don't know how he missed. I mean, he slammed Dart to the ground and threw him, so I don't know how that missed. <laughs> like how, like the Dart just freaking, like, handspring or something. I'm like, huh, fooled you. <laughs> I hate this attack. I hate it so much. Ah! Ugh! Ugh! It's like, I won't miss this time. Yeah, you just won't hit me for an abysmal amount. <laughs> oh yeah. I punch you in the face. Not really, just more like in the lower belt area region. Yep. 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 Cool boogie. Got it over yet. Because Maru's just so damn cute, you know. Okay. Summon four gods. I love you. I love each and every one of you. Listen, I love this boss music. Ha 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 ha. Whoa! Whoa! Woo! Pop! Pop! Dark barely even gets turns anymore, and he's supposed to be the main character. Oh goody, yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks. Absorb Hashel again. Yeah, that's that's exactly what I wanted you to do. Now, I think if you actually attack him when one of your teammates are captive like that, uh, he'll either counter with a really nasty attack, or he'll siphon some health from your ally or something. If I recall correctly. So it's a pretty good rule of thumb not to attack something that has your teammates captive. I do believe. Then again, he might not do anything at all. I mean, what do I know? And Dart's taking a beating this game, or this, this boss. It's, I guess it's fine, though, because he does have the therapy ring to keep him going. Regain, uh, you know, 10% of his HP, 10% of his maximum HP per turn, so it's pretty nice. And F day! Yeah, I'll tell you this. Uh, at this, you know, at this rate, Maru's gonna catch up with Hatchel on um, additions there. Thanks for our buddy back. Now let's have Maru have at the heart. Has this guy even countered once? Something tells me he hasn't. Yeah, this this monster uh, is pretty much invincible until you kill his heart. The heart is your actual main target, but as you can see, it is protected. And I'm not if I, if I'm not mistaken, I think every attack does only one damage to it. But I also recall it having a really low health pool too, so it makes sense. Summon four gods. I will attack your face. <laughs> I'm gonna have Dart defend for a few turns, I think. Go ahead and get his health back up. Actually, uh, nah, I don't want Maru to go Dragoon. Not yet. Instead, I'm going to use one of those healing fogs. Or, yeah, healing breeze. That way, I don't have to waste any turns defending. It works. Plus, it gives me an item space, which is definitely crucial. <laughs> you can't hurt me! Ow. <laughs> like you didn't miss that time, did you? Broke into the wrong darn rec room, I'll tell you that much. Ah, uh, rock is mine. Ah, oh, Maru. Ooh, hey, look at that. Maybe you can kill this boss without killing the heart. Killing the heart kills it instantly, though. But I think I think you can actually kill the big guy without ever attacking the heart. Well, summon four gods. Guess we'll find out, huh? Your town.
Uh, it's pretty much just Hashel and Maru having a beatdown on this guy. Dart hasn't gotten to attack much. <laughs> oh god. No, don't absorb Maru. That's dirty. It's mean. Hey, at least Dart can one-shot these snow cannons, though. I do recall this guy having a really nasty attack, though. Like, if you attack him, uh, the boss, when he's got both of the uh, snow cannons out, he'll counter with something really, really nasty. So it's not something you ever want to do, I, I don't think. Like, I don't fully remember, but, you know, it's, it's always good to be safe, I think. I guess we'll find out. Yes. Well, it's the worst that could happen, I think. Oh, nothing. Okay. Still, though, we need to get rid of these snow cannons. Ish. That does so much damage to Dart, man, I swear. It's so stupid how much damage it does to Dart. Yep, spit Maru back out. Thank you. Maru, have it the heart, please. Deep. Duh. There we go. And there he goes. Just like that, he's dead. Finally! Dart gets a new addition. So now, now he won't be wasting his time attacking other than just dealing damage. We barely defeated it. Thanks to that, I got warmed up. <laughs> Tower of Flanville. All right, guys. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna call it an episode here. And our next episode, however, we go even further. Ooh, hey, Dart's almost maxed out. I never have to change his additions anymore. That is until he gets his final one. But the only way to get the final one is to master all other additions. In which case, he's already gonna do that. I don't know why it made me go back this way when I clearly hit up. I hit up and it goes down. That was strange. Alright, there we go. Alright everyone, this is going to be where I sign off for this episode of Let's Play Legend of Dragoon. I hope you've been enjoying the series so far, guys, and uh, I'm constantly trying to improve, so hopefully I've done a good job of that. My commentary feels still is like, eh, but all I can do is really be myself, guys, so... Eventually, I think we'll come into our own. So again, again, guys, thank you so much for the support, and have yourselves a wonderful day. We will see you. Yeah, we will see you again soon. Have a nice day, everyone. Again, for like the millionth time. Have a nice day, everyone. Again. And um, yeah. Always remember to smile, guys. See you again soon.